Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to another video. In this short tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we go about cropping a video. Most of us already know how easy it is to crop a photo with most free software that's out there, but not many of us know how to crop a video without having to pay for some sort of application to do the job. Well, you'll be glad to know with VLC. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download VLC. I can't remember if I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to go search for it. No, it doesn't look like I have. So, But basically what you need to do is go to www.videoland.org and we can download VLC Media Player. So I'm going to do that here. And we can see it downloading in the top right hand corner there. And once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and install the program. I'm just going to use all the defaults. OK, and then click Finish. And we'll close these windows. I'll just say Continue to the Allow Metadata Network Access, etc. And there we have it. VLC Media Player downloaded and installed and it's running. So you might have noticed on my desktop in the top left hand corner here I've got a video file called Ducks and if I open it and it probably is going to be a little bit noisy to start with and I'm going to select VLC Media Player to open it Let's turn the volume down a little bit so we can see we've got this file playing. And let's just say I wanted to concentrate more on the larger duck right in the middle of the screen. So I want to crop the edges out. I want to get rid of the bag of bread that we're using to feed the ducks with. So let's close that for a second. That's, that's going to be our project file. So if we started from scratch, If I right click on the file that I'm going to use as my project and select open with VLC Media Player. That's enough of that. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to select Tools, Effects and Filters, and then Video Effects and crop and then we can start entering the values that we want to crop it to on the top bottom left and right so let's try and experiment on the right first let's go and as you can see as i'm going up the very right hand side is starting to disappear and if it probably doesn't notice so much because it's smaller intervals that I'm using so if I put in there let's say 150 we can see that that has significantly reduced that right hand side of the picture uh, let's try 200 and then on the left let's go 200 again and then maybe we'll reduce the top by Let's say 100. OK, so that looks pretty good. The large duck is quite centred in the middle. So we need to take a note of our values. Now you can either write these down. So I want top 100 pixels, left 200 pixels, right 200 pixels. Well, I think I'm going to remember that. But if not, write them down. OK, so we can close this now. And this time I'm going to go back up to Tools and I'm going to select Preferences. And down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen here we can see we've gone All Radio Buttons. I'm going to select that. And then on the left pane here we need to look for Video and Filters. So let's scroll down a bit. There you go, Video Filters. And then we'll scroll down here a bit more and we're going to select Crop Add. Now we can see on the right here, 
we can enter our values that we made earlier. So mine was 100 at the top, there was none on the bottom, and I had 200 left and 200 right. Okay, so back on the left-hand pane now, I'm going to select filters. And what we're looking for here is something called video cropping filter, which is there. And we'll select that box and then we're going to click save. Now we need to come back up here and select media and convert and save. Now let's add the video file that we want to crop. So I'm going to select add and it's on my desktop and there it is. And we're going to select open and then down the bottom here we've got convert and save and I want to click this down arrow and I'm going to select convert. And then let's name the file something that uh, we're going to recognize. So I'm going to put it in my, let's put it in my pictures for now. And I'll just call it Ducks Crop. And one more thing we need to do in the profile here, I'm just going to drop this down and I'm going to choose the very top one, MP4. And also click on this spanner icon, click on the video codec tab, click the filters tab, and then scroll down until you see video cropping filter. We're going to tick that box. If you wanted to keep the original audio, you can select audio codec and keep original audio track. So by ticking this, we'll keep the audio. By not ticking this, you won't get any audio. I hope that makes sense. And now we can click save. And now we can click start. And we can see the file being converted with the blue line traveling from left to right there. Now, before we go any further, it is good practice to, before we come out of this, we'll go back into tools and back into preferences. And down here, we're going to select Reset Preferences. I'll tell you why in a moment. We're going to agree to it. And the reason I've done that is because you may end up applying these same settings to any other future video that you put in and not realise what's going on. So it basically resets it back to the, the default again. If you find that the video that you've cropped doesn't have any audio, it may be because you need to download the K-Lite codec pack, and I'll leave a, a link in the description below. But let me just uh, give you an example now. So if we open up the original with VLC, and I'll just pause that for a minute, and then if we go to the destination where we created our cropped version, and I'm just going to open that with the, the native player. And let's pause it there. So what are we four seconds in? So let's compare that to this. So around four seconds in. So we can see the difference um, between the, the original and the crop version. So as you can see there, when I overlay it over the top, we've come in 200 pixels on the left and right and 100 on, on the top. I know it's a little bit long-winded, but uh, it's free, so we can't really argue with that. I hope you found the tutorial useful. Thanks for watching.